It is Joe Ray here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, I'm going to explain the human flag, but I'm going to break it down even further. I'm going to explain the first steps of the human flag. I know I already made one. You can check that out right here, but I didn't explain the actual technique and where your hand should be, so I'm going to do that today. Let's get this. 2021. Yeah, show them I guess the rap though. I was on the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. First it was the femur, now I want the bench. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Welcome back to yet another video. I just want to say I appreciate y'all for watching these videos and learning calisthenics knowledge. I have respect for y'all. And without further ado, I'm gonna get right into how to actually put your hands and actually the technique you need to do in order to hold yourself in the human flag. Okay, now think about this, you need to have, this will be my bottom half, I was facing this way. So if you're facing, boom, like I was facing this way right here, it would be, I would have, this would be my top hand and I would place it just like this in a pronate grip on the bar. I'm gonna switch hands real quick. And the other hand would be my bottom hand, it would be in a, a supinated grip. When you remember with this, if you don't know what supinate and pronate is, supinate is turned over this way, pronate is turned over this way. Like if you're in the army, they say go prone. Like I know y'all play Call of Duty, you would be, you be lay down flat, you'd be on your stomach, just like your hand would be. That's like, you can think of your palm, your hand as like your stomach. But the thing about this is on a vertical bar, unlike the horizontal bar, which is like this, the vertical bar, it would be straight up and down, just like this. With this, this would be my top hand. Once again, this is my right side of my body. You would put that just like this, pronate grip on the bar. So it'd be face down, facing that way. And you would have the other hand in a neutral grip. Neutral is in between both of them. So you remember supinated, neutral, pronated. So you remember that. So if I ever say that, like just remember that that's what they are. So a neutral grip on the bar just like that and you're going to push with this arm as straight as possible. You see that? It goes boom, my arm's bent, straight as possible. And then that's how you get that little bit of extra lift you need in order to be in the human flag. And with the top hand, you're going to be just like this and you're going to be pulling, pulling as much as you can. See my arm bend a little bit? So that's the technique behind the human flag actually lifting yourself up actually i'll get more into it actually your body when you're doing this if you practice actual human straight arm planks on the ground um you're going to be pushing your body you're going to be pushing your hips this way it's going to be pushing like if i was on if i had this arm straight on the ground just imagine i would be pushing that side of my body this way and that would almost replicate what you do in actual human flag because when you have your arms up you have that your bottom arm straight your top arm actually pulling yourself you're going to lift yourself in that straight line position you're going to be pushing your hips up and your obliques up with your obliques and make your body as tight as possible i hope you find this content valuable um make sure to subscribe to the channel if you find it actually useful and like i always say stay hungry stay driven you want the check but can you make it stretch